what's up guys and welcome back to software and audio solutions and today we're talking about escape from tarkov now don't judge me please because there's a lot of people out there that pronounce this game differently it depends on where you stay where you live i guess and yeah anyway so today i'm going to talk about the whole fps issue that people are getting where they're getting fps loss frame drops game stutter the game just looks really bad and the gameplay experience is really really bad i'm talking about people that's getting frame drops with mid-tier gaming pcs or high-tier gaming pcs now imagine how it must be for the people out there that's running this on normal laptops or normal pcs they're getting lots of fps loss and just in general the gameplay experience really is really 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 bad now today i'm going to show you how you can get more fps out of your game boost your game and just get your game up and running perfectly fine and if this works for you leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here because i upload videos on a regular basis so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon it would mean a lot to me all right let's jump straight into this okay so the first thing i kind of want to go over is thanks to everyone out there that's subscribing to my youtube channel that's watching my youtube videos because it really means a lot to me it honestly does and shout out to everyone that subscribed to my youtube channel because it really means a lot to me all right so the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and you're going to type in graphics settings just like that you're going to type in graphics settings and you're going to click on graphics settings over here you're going to open this up and you're going to enable this if you do not see this option don't worry there is another way of doing this but if you do see this option i highly recommend switching this on if you have it off you're going to lose some frames but if you don't have this option don't worry there is another thing that you can do but i highly recommend switching this on if yours is there and it's off switch it on you'll get more fps out of your game now what we're going to do over here is we're going to go to browse and we're going to go and find this game okay so you go browse you go and find where the game is installed you select it and you say add once you've added it it will be over here you click on it make sure it's the exe file and say options and select high performance let it use your graphics card that you're currently running it doesn't matter what graphics card you are running to select your graphics card say save and close out of this once you're done with that we're going to go to the search button again and we're going to type in edit power plan just like that and you're going to go to edit power plan once you hit edit power plan you're going to go to power options and what we're going to do over here is we're going to create a power plan for this game so you go to create a power plan and you go to high performance and you just do this you type in escape from Tarkov just like that and we're going to create a power plan for this game make sure it says never says never and say create once you're done with that you're going to get an option for this game now you're going to use power options for this game specifically now what you're going to need to do over here is you go to change plan settings and you're going to go to change advanced power settings click on this and you're going to go here now you have this selected and it's active you click on hard disk and where it says turn off hard disk after yours might say 10 minutes like this or it might say 20 minutes all you need to do is just click on the box and type in zero and say apply click anywhere and it will say turn off hard disk after never so your hard drive will never switch off now this is a very important step over here which is process power management this is for laptop users and desktop users if you're a laptop user you're going to get two options here in minimum processor state and maximum processor state one's going to say on battery and plugged in on desktop users you're only going to get one option like this now if yours is lower than 100 just change it to 100 type in 100 and say apply scroll down and make sure where it says maximum processor state is on 100 percent to say okay and then just close out of this all right ladies and gentlemen when you're back on your desktop what you're going to need to do is just click on your desktop like this right click on it and go to nvidia control panel if you're a nvidia user like me if you do not see this option over here just go to the search button over here and type in nvidia control panel and it should be there or it should be on your start depending or it could be on your desktop but i'm just going to click on my nvidia control panel open up your nvidia control panel when your nvidia control panel opens up you go to adjust image settings with preview and you change from use the advanced image settings to change it to use my preference and change it all the way from quality to performance or you can put it on balanced but i highly recommend putting this on performance and you'll get more fps out of your game so you just say apply let that apply once that is done what you're going to need to do is go to this option over here and select your graphics card select your graphics card and say apply if you've never done this before do not select your cpu i repeat do not select your CPU, select your graphics card, 
and say apply once you're done with that you're going to go to manage 3d settings and you're going to go to program settings we are not going to change anything in global settings because if you change stuff in global settings it changes everything for your computer not just for the specific game like this game okay so you go to program settings and you go and find this game if you do not find it in here then all you need to do is just click on add and go and find the game by clicking browse and go and find the game where it is installed depending on if it's on installed on a different hard drive or if you have multiple hard drives all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is this you put this off over here make sure it says that off put it off over here you put this off this you put it off this you put it on off this you put on off you scroll down i'm going to show you something that is very very important this where it says CUDA GPUs, you select this and make it select your graphics card. Let it run your graphics card. Say OK, go down. What you're going to need to do is here, where it says virtual sync, don't let it be off. Let it be off like that. It must say off in black. Triple buffering, you turn it off. This over here, you put on auto, or you can put this on off. It depends on your system. Just play around with that. Where it says quality, Put this on performance and you'll get more FPS out of your game. Trust me, it helps a lot. This one as well, if you put this off, it helps a lot. Just say apply and say apply, let it apply, go back to your desktop and I'm going to show you what you can do inside the game to get more FPS. All right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now. So all you're going to need to do is go to the little graphics settings over there and then over here where it says screen resolution make sure you select the highest that it can go to if you're rocking a laptop and you can do 1080p select 1080p if you're using a monitor and it does 1080p select 1080p now if you're still doing frame drops in this game because a lot of people are having problems with frame drops in this game just drop it down to 720p and see if that can help if that helps then there you get a little bit of fps boost now this is for everyone out there, it doesn't matter if you're running a laptop or a desktop computer. It doesn't matter. Just drop the resolution a little bit. But if you still want to keep it at 1080p, you can keep it at 1080p. Then I highly recommend playing this in full screen. Put this on high. Shadow quality, put this at low. This, keep it at 2.5. This, you can play around with. You can actually put this on 1000 and putting it on either 1500 but don't go above this if you start going above this you are going to see fps loss in your game by a lot because these are more for this 1500 is like mid-tier gaming pcs and this is like high tier gaming pcs even this is like basically high tier gaming pcs or this or that and that's like a monster machine so play around with this you can either put it on a thousand or put it on 1500 i play it on 1500 and it works perfectly fine with my graphics card so if you have anything like my graphics card or lower then put it on here or down okay put it down if you can and see how your game looks and see if you get more fps out of your game but i highly do not recommend to put this higher because you're going to get fps loss now where it says shadow visibility put this at 45 you do not want it to eat your fps in the game this you put on taa or you can actually put this on off and you'll get more fps out of your game put this on one times off it helps a lot with fps keep this at medium or you can put this on off as well or you can put it on low and check your fps this keep it off and this one here you can actually just put this either off or you can keep it on this where it says sharpness keeping it or putting it on 0.7 or just keep it on 0.7 because it is the stock settings now your lobby cap fps will be 60 and in game will be 120 you can also uncap it these here play a big role in the game so i highly recommend putting this on that on this on and that on do not put that on do not put that on okay over here we're going to change something it actually helps the game a lot with visuals and you it makes things look much better in the game so you can see your enemies better and just the overall gameplay experience feels and looks so much better put the brightness on 15 don't keep it at stock settings saturation put this at 60 because it actually brings out a lot of color in the game like the trees and people's outfits and stuff like that so it's much easier to see the enemies 
keep this on zero, keep this on zero, keep this on zero, and put this at 25. Put this on none. This you can play around with. It's your own personal preference. Keep this on none. And intensity, keep it at zero. And you should be fine to go. And ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you and you get more FPS out of your game, inside the game, while you're playing, leave a like, leave a comment down below that this actually worked for you. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. And as always, peace out.